In this video, I want to show you how to manage mouse input on a main menu screen versus in-game. And to motivate that, I've started with a blank blueprint project here. I've saved the level as default map. Uh, and this is just the plain old blank blueprint. So if I click in there, I can fly around with the default pawn. Now I'm going to create a new level, which will be my main menu. And inside of that level, I will have a, a simple button, which will be a widget blueprint. So I'll call this main menu. Let's go in and make that real quick. I'm going to make sure I uh, make this called start game button and it's a variable that's good uh, I'll go ahead and make this text a little bit nicer we'll say start game uh, of course you can change the font and uh, we can also change the uh, padding around the text maybe something like this and then back over here if we click on uh, size to content that'll be good now if I want this button in the middle of the screen a real easy way to do that is anchor it to the center reset the X and Y position and make sure we set the alignment to be centered along both the X and Y axes there that's a button that'll show up in the middle of the screen and uh, when I click on it I want to simply open the other map so I can say open level and uh, if you haven't seen this before, back in the content browser, if you mouse over an asset, it'll give you the, the name of it, the path to it. So this is slash game slash mouse tutorial slash default map. Good. Um, in order to get this widget to show up on the screen, I'm going to do this in kind of a quick and dirty way, uh, which I don't recommend, but it'll be good to get us started. So I'm going to go into the main menu, and I'm going to do this in a level blueprint to get started. So I'll say uh, create widget, and we'll make this a main menu, and we'll have this uh, get player controller. And once we create it, we can add it to the viewport. Good. So back over here, if we play this, we can click on start game, and now we're in the game. But notice I'm moving my mouse around and nothing is happening. Once I click in, then I can uh, have mouse control. Now let's look at that again. If I say play here, and I'm going to click in the game but outside the button, notice that the cursor disappears. Um, it's actually still there, I just can't see it, which makes it awfully hard to do anything with. So I'll press escape to get out of there. Okay, so those are the kinds of problems that I want to deal with here. So the first thing to think about is uh, I have two different kinds of game modes. I have my in-game mode that I'm going to use in default map, and I have my main menu mode, which, which really operates by different rules. And since they operate by different rules, I want to make separate blueprints for those. So I'm going to make a blueprint called um, BP, uh, let's call it playing game mode, and I'll make a separate one, which is also a game mode, and we'll call it BP uh, main menu game mode. Good. Okay, so what's the difference between these? Well, the main difference that I care about here is really the way that the input is managed, and of course the class that has that responsibility in Unreal Engine is player controller. So I'm going to make two player controllers as well. And I'll call them BP playing player controller and BP main menu player controller. Let's set up the plumbing here before we get too deep into it. When I'm in the playing game mode, I want to make sure that I use the playing player controller. I'll save that. And when I'm in the main menu game mode, I want to make sure I'm using the main menu player controller. Good. Now, of course, I also need to set them in the levels. So in default map, default map in the world settings, we can say our game mode override here will be playing game mode and in our main menu we'll use main menu game mode now if you have a lot of different levels you might want to just use the uh, under project settings and maps and modes you can set the default game mode so in fact I'll go ahead and set that to playing game mode because uh, any other levels would use that, that playing game mode whereas only main menu uses main menu game mode uh, that actually means we don't need this here, so for the sake of simplicity, let's do that. Okay, now we won't see any behaviors yet. That was all just plumbing. But now, uh, here's what we want to do, is over in Main Menu Player Controller, there's an option here to show the mouse cursor. I'll turn that on. 
Now, when I play this level, oops, I'm in the wrong level. Let's go back to main menu. When I play this level and I click outside the button, my mouse is still there. So I'll escape out of there. So that's that's what this, um, oh, let's get to the main menu player controller again. That's what this means is that uh, when the mouse is in the application, uh, I still see the cursor. So start game. This isn't captured yet. Let's fix that. Back over in, uh, let's see, it's in playing player controller. When I get into this, uh, when, when this player controller is initialized, I'm going to say set input mode to game only. And this is really kind of the, uh, the magic piece that if you haven't seen before, you might easily miss. Uh, setting the input mode will alter how the mouse is captured. So uh, I simply need a self-reference here to tell it that uh, we're dealing with this player controller. Now, from here, again, we uh, start game. And right away, without having to click again, uh, I have focus in this window, and it's captured my mouse, and I don't see the cursor, which is exactly what I want. OK, uh, we're almost there. Let's see what happens if we get back to the main menu. So I'm going to very quickly add a uh, new input mapping, which will be an action mapping called uh, quit. So let's call it quit to menu. It'll be a very clear name. And we'll give it Q. OK, um, so in the playing player controller, let's have it listen for that. So what is this going to do? Well, we'll just uh, go back to the main menu. No fancy transitions or anything. This should be game, mouse tutorial, um, main menu. So in here, I can click, I can click. I'm inside the game. I'll press Q. I'm back in the main menu. Now if I click, I still have focus here. Good. We'll try that. Q to get out. Try starting the game. Now, hopefully you heard that over my microphone. I clicked, but I didn't actually have focus yet. So it's that actually that same problem again here, where we don't have the input uh, mode being set properly. So back over in the main menu player controller, let's do the same thing. As soon as we get into here, we can say set input mode. And this time, we're going to do UI only. So game only is used for uh, you know moving around characters, mouse look, that sort of thing. UI only is for uh, clicking on buttons using uh, text entry fields, scrolling, uh, and you can you can also handle both if you want. But in my case, I have a very clear distinction between uh, UI mode and game mode. So once again, we'll just tie in the self reference here. Now, so let's uh, try to repeat that case. Get into the game, press Q. And now you can see it, uh, it highlights when I mouse over it, so you know that the uh, mouse is in UI mode. So click on that, I'm right back in the game. Good. Now the last piece of this that I want to clean up is that I put the uh, creation of the main menu inside the level. Um, and generally, I think that's, that's not a very good practice. I don't like to put things in my level blueprints because that makes them uh, isolated. It makes them hard to test. It makes it hard to reuse. So I'm going to just pull that out of here. And now that I have a, a clear place to put it, I can just put it in my main menu uh, player controller. So maybe before we do this, we'll actually create the HUD, create the UI. And uh, if I wanted to, I could actually keep this reference to the widget and make it the, the widget to focus, which means uh, I can get to it with uh, keyboard navigation. So there. That's kind of an optional step, but it's not going to hurt anything here. OK, let's verify all the pieces still work. Play. Click in here. We can see the mouse. Start game. Move around. Q. Get back in. Let's look at it from the top again. Because now you can see uh, I am in input mode because this is responding to my mouse. So that's nice. So there you go. I hope that's helpful. Happy programming.